Hello and welcome. My name is Calliope and I'm going to be taking care of you today. So I hear that you are here for an energy healing session. Is that correct? Excellent. So for our energy healing session today, I would just like to first get a little gauge as to what's going on with you and what we can improve. I'll ask you some questions. I'll use some of my own diagnostic methods to really pinpoint what we can alleviate. And then we will move on to the treatment, which I will base off of That sound okay? All right. As we go along, I'll be able to explain a little more fully. It's a little tough to really tell you what I'd like to do with you before we really have all the facts laid out, before we really understand what's going on with you. So I'm going to roll up my sleeves here. It's a touch warm in the office today. I wasn't expecting that. It is a brilliant sunny day. Spring is just on the horizon. And we are just almost out of the gates of winter. Here we are. So I do have two options here. Either I can do this energy healing session without touching you whatsoever, or I can do it with very light, very soft touches, if you would like. It's completely up to you. Okay, so with touching, then I will sanitize my hands real quick, just to make sure that we are cleansed and sanitary. So. Do I have your permission to touch you then? Excellent. So, I can also, if you would like, just play some very soft music for you. I find that sometimes it aids me in being able to treat you helps get me into a better mindset, a little bit of a better focus, but if that would be distracting to you, we can certainly leave that out as well. Okay, we can do just that for you. All right. So to start off with, I'm just going to be taking a look at your energy field. You can also call this an aura or an auric field if you'd like, but I prefer the term energy. Every living being has energy. Energy cannot be created nor destroyed, just redistributed or transformed. And just, just feels right to me to call this, this area, this boundary around you, an energy field. I'm just going to palpate and wave my fingers through your energy, somewhat combing it, as well as just looking at how it reverberates. You might 
Would you mind just taking a deep breath in for me? Mm -hmm. Deep breath in. And out. Deep breath in. And out. Deep breath in. And out. Excellent. Just going to bring my hands in and around. Just feel. so many different things that can affect our energies and even throughout the day it can change but certainly stresses for sure are some of the biggest causes of fluctuations environmental factors certainly but I think overall here feels that there, there's a lot of tension here. Your energy feels very stretched, feels pulled taut like a guitar string, just feels very thin, almost to the point where I might be concerned about there being little, little micro tears, like if you pull something so thin that it starts just tearing a bit. It's just stretched so thin. Stretched, stretched. But I can feel these points of tension that, that are really adding to the tightness here. Wrapped around these points and just stretching it further. There's these tangles, these knots that I think we will have to Tell me a little bit about what's been going on with you. As far as stresses go, we don't have to get into any details, but just tell me a bit about what, what you've been feeling lately, your emotions, how you've been affected, how your body feels with those, with those issues. So a lot of frustration right, right here, okay, and in the throat, certainly. That's a lot of that frustration you can feel right here. Your throat chakra corresponds to communication, so when you don't feel like your needs are being listened to or what you're saying isn't being received, you can certainly Feel that frustration right there. Have you been feeling tension in your chest at all? In your sternum in particular? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. And anywhere else? In your stomach at all? Do you have any... I know personally, if I start feeling overwhelmed or stressed, I get these needle-like pains in two particular spots. Do you have any sort of discomfort there? Mm hmm And what about the rest of your body? Are you holding a lot of tension? Or just tight anywhere? Certainly, I can see that. Okay. 
So firstly, let's get you into a bit of a more neutral position, okay? So I'm gonna have you just pull your shoulders down a little bit. I'm just gonna push them down, okay? We're gonna relax those a little bit. I'm gonna have you roll them back just a smidge. We're gonna really widen the rib cage, okay? And really squeeze the scapula together, okay? So you don't have to sit completely straight, but have a bit more, a bit more straightness to the spine. Much better. A bit of a better alignment. Excellent. So that might feel a little odd, especially if you've been having your shoulders rolled forward, if you've been having them hitched, if you've been kind of caving into yourself, that might, that might feel a little strenuous because you haven't done it in a while, but we really want to make sure we're stretching out, stretching out your body a bit and just bringing that into a better alignment. All right? How does that feel? Okay. Take a deep breath in for me. Great. And out. Deep breath in, all the way down to your belly. And out. Just feel yourself a little more grounded, a little more centered. Just bring your focus to the here and now. Take a deep breath in. And out. Wonderful. You are doing perfectly. Got a bit of a gauge about what's going on. So, we're going to use some tools. Now, these are going to look a touch odd, and I know you're going to ask how exactly or what exactly I'm going to do with these tools. But these are some little handheld wooden tools. So, I have a small little rake. I have a tiny little spade. I have wooden forceps. And I have a coarse fibered brush. So, with these tools, I am going to be physically untangling and raking and excavating, if you will, around your energy field. I can use our little rake to just rake and brush out the little tangles. I can use our spade to chip away at others. I can use our forceps to take it away. Once we've excavated and untangled little bits of energy buildup, energy blockage, and I can brush it all away with our coarse fiber brush. So, I want to start by just cleaning up everything. So, I'm just going to swipe this. Okay, just going to very gently just swipe that over your energy just so we can start with, with a clean area. And then we will move on to untangling the blockages and removing some of those bits and we can chisel out the rest and we can 
finish up with removing it all. So, I'm just going to just going to brush that all out. I'm going to use very fast movements here. We're just doing a very general, gentle. out the rest. Just want it to be, just want to make sure I'm not damaging anything further. terribly long, I would say. There we go. Let's find a little bit of a better grip on this. That one's a touch tricky. Might have to, might have to use our spade on that one. so far. Appreciate you sitting so still for me. I know sometimes it might feel a little strange having someone dote on you a bit or take care of you, but I'm really glad that you showed up today and that you wanted to get your energy field healed. And I think once we're done, you will be bright, soul, without restriction or tether. And that's exactly what I wish for you. I wish you to be absolutely yourself, just with less restriction. stress and less holding you back. There we are. Now, I'm going to grab our spade here. And I'm just going to use the back of my rake to aid in chiseling out some of these knots, some of the Right? Are you still doing okay so far? Wonderful. Alright, so this one was particularly, particularly persnickety. Mm -hmm. Okay.
there was one other major point, right? Right about here, I think. that up a bit. I'm just going to use these to extract and pull any remnants of what I've untangled and what I have excavated from your energy field. Okay. Yeah. Painless process. Okay. Let's pick out. There we go. Pick out some of the other bits. once more to just dust off the excess, clean off the debris, and then I'm going to smooth out your energy a little bit. Try to make that a little, a little looser. And I'll get you back to feeling less restricted to feeling like like you have more resources. Let's go ahead and smooth it all out, shall we? Just 
pull my sweet sleeves up a touch more. Let's just smooth that down. Smooth that down. Bring it into balance. Just free yourself up a little bit more. Just focus on what's important to you. Reassess your priorities. Cut out anything that's really detracting from you. Very good. Very good. How are you feeling so far? Okay, so if you would like, I have one further step to really help align you and bring you into balance and a touch more harmony. Yeah, so. I have some tuning forks. And a tuning fork hammer. I have a 128 hertz tuning fork, which is going to be more of a low tone, and a 512 hertz tuning fork, which will be a much higher pitch tone. And with these tones, I would just like to just vibrate them around your energy field. I'd like to start with our lower tone. This is what it sounds like. It's very soft, very subtle. It's almost a little hard to hear. going to be tapping this and just bringing that all around, all around your energy field, somewhat like a harmonic massage, if you will. Might be a touch difficult to hear since it is such a low tone, but it works nonetheless. If you'd like, you can do some just very gentle, easy breathing. Don't force yourself, just allow yourself to really relax and bathe in the tones of these tuning forks. Just allow yourself to be bathed in the sounds of the tuning forks. one is a bit of a tricky one. Almost works a little better if I tap it on my wrist, but that hurts quite a bit. That's why we have a little hammer here.
beautiful thing sound is. Can be equally as damaging as it is healing. But we're really focusing on the healing. Gonna give us a few more passes here before switching to our 512 hertz fork, which is a lot easier to hear. It's not so high pitched that it's painful, but it's certainly more noticeable to the ear than our 128 hertz tuning. I'm going to finish off by striking the fork and just placing it on your forehead so you feel the vibration, so you feel the frequency. Let's finish off strong with a more uplifting sound. There. Much easier to hear. off with placing that in the middle of your forehead. Try to strike it. strange just to hear these different tones just over and over again, but it is an easy way to just allow yourself to get lost in the sound and lost in the relaxation. So, I just want to feel a little bit on your energy and make sure I didn't miss anything, make sure that our treatment had a positive invigorating effect on you. I'm just going to be feeling all over here. 
how do you feel? How have you? How do you think you felt through the treatment? Have you noticed any improvement? Certainly a feeling of exhaustion. Certainly we've done a lot with your energy and that can really be a lot for a person and I really recommend rest. I'll be integral to your healing process and it might be a couple of days where you feel almost a bit off-center while you're really getting used to feeling more of a lightness, more of a free feeling. It's like if you had really long hair and got it all cut off. It takes you a few days to get used to that new balance, that new center of gravity. I've done that twice myself, so I'm well aware of that. I certainly sense an immense improvement. Your energy field is not nearly as tight or thin. It feels a lot more fluid. It feels a little bit thicker, a little more resilient. Just overall, you feel just, just quite a bit better. I think I am very, very pleased with how the session turned out. So, do you have any concerns for me or any questions? Sure, yeah. You may need to do this again at some point when you feel yourself really bogged down or if you've had a lot of stress in your life or there's a lot of things going on or even sometimes the change of the seasons, the change of the year can really can really bog you down a bit. So you certainly should be good for a long time, but you may notice just over time these little these little bits just start coming back in. You know, your aura certainly didn't get all twisted up over one night. It was a long process. So just over time, if you just keep an eye on how you're feeling, how you're doing, what the circumstances as of late have been, how your stresses have been, just kind of check in with yourself from time to time. And we can certainly do a little cleanup again, if that's necessary. Yeah, it's no trouble. Thank you so much for coming into my office today to have this energy healing session. I hope that you enjoyed it and I really hope it makes a difference for you. I hope you have a whale of a day and a good rest of your day.